Hello fish keepers. In this video, I will show you how to create a colony of microworms. I know that for newbies, fish keeping is quite a challenge, especially in providing live feeds for your fry. If you are on a tight budget, this is a good alternative for BBS or baby brine shrimp. Know how to culture a microworm and you'll have a lifetime source of live food. So stay tuned and keep on watching Vonsky TV. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Alright, so these are the materials that you will need to create your culture uh, for microworms. One is First one is a cotton filter, like this one, a plastic container, make sure you have the lid, okay, so, I'm sorry if, if it's taking time to open it, okay, so make sure you have these two small scissor oatmeal any brand will do but Quaker Oats is the best and last one is hot water alright first thing that we will do is to prepare your container uh, with the scissor so first create two holes on top of it so we are going to use the scissor so just do it like this slowly oops slowly create a hole it so happened that I damaged the the, the, the the lead cover so I'll just make another one here so be careful so turn your scissor like this so that you'll have a perfect hole like this one okay and make another one on the other side be careful because the material is soft and you can easily damage it like what happened earlier but that's okay that's fine just make sure there's no um, big holes like this if ever you damage your lead so next is we need to fill this um, hole with cotton so take a pinch of your cotton from the filter. Okay. Roll it like this so that you can insert it to the hole. Use your scissor to insert it. Okay. And there you have it. So repeat the steps to the next one. Do the same step for the other hole. Just take a little a little bit of the cotton filter, roll it. So you can insert it to the other side. There. Okay, so your lead is now ready. Next thing that we will do is to prepare your colony itself 
So this time, take your container and take a handful of your oatmeal. I'm sorry if I don't have a scoop, so I'll just use my hand. Anyway, uh, I'm just using this uh, oatmeal for my culture only, so that's fine. Okay, so take as much as this one oatmeal now um, we need to put uh, a little uh, amount of water hot water to your oatmeal so I'll be back with the hot water now back with my container and I filled it with uh, hot water so around one inch of a size of your container or half inch rather and just mix it like this now um, it will be better if you have milk to add on this one but if you don't have an available milk that's fine hot water will do now um, it will be better as well if you have some leftover um, bread crumbs or bread like this in Philippines we call this monai so this is very cheap just add a little amount of it while the water is hot sorry about the background <laughs> all right so mix it again and let it cool down for about an hour or so or just make sure your mixture is already cold so there you go okay so this time um, your mixture is now ready for your culture so this is how it will look like um, that's the reason why I added some bread on it in it rather so that it will be a little bit thicker so it's now ready for your culture now I will show you um, what does it look like uh, for you to have uh, the culture so this is my starter kit and as you can see uh, on the side of of the container there are micro worms crawling up uh, to the top so if you will take a look closer you will see I don't know if um, you can see it from here but okay as you can see as yes, the light reflects on it there are worms moving onto the mixture so that's your live culture now take a spoon a, a plastic spoon um, you could either get from here okay just a little amount of it will do uh, make sure there are worms um, crawling let me see there okay so put it to the mixture like that okay sorry for the interruption because um I just got my new delivery of uh, additional strains for my line so these are RDSS okay it just got delivered today so let me go back to our video continuing get more from your culture Take 
just a little amount of it like this put it there get some more for the other Now I'll be back to show you how to feed your um, microworm. Alright, so I think we are now um, done with our culture. So it's now time for you to cover it one by one. and store it in a dark place and cold area or you can also put this on top of your um, aquarium that's uh, that's also fine as long as the aquarium is inside your house it's indoor or it's not directly um heat it heat by by sunlight uh, because micro worms uh love to be on a dark place and cold place so let's set this aside and this time i will teach you how you can feed your micro worm so that it can propagate okay so now that we're done um with the culture preparing your culture this time uh, you need to know how to sustain the life of your microworm. So take a pinch or yeah, take a pinch of yeast. This is uh, instant dry yeast that's uh, used uh, in bread. So you can get uh, some of this from the market or uh, some bakery. I, I believe they sell um, yeast like this. So it's easy. Um, every morning, just put a little amount of yeast on top. Okay, just spread it like that. Okay. Uh, just a little bit more. And you're done. So that's how easy to culture microworm. Um, it won't require a lot of of work to do to culture your own uh, micro uh, micro worms as life feeds to your guppy fish or any other ornamental and tropical fish so that's how easy to culture micro worms so if you like this video and um, you've learned a lot from this one, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you will be notified uh, to the updates that we are uploading in this channel. And of course, share this video so that a lot of people will know how to prepare live foods for their guppy fish. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.